The man from the fog. Today I will be hunting this creature down by obtaining a gun and lighting it up. There will be other creatures along the way, but the man from the fog is our focus. So let the hunt begin. It's hunting season, baby. Lock in. Oh my god, this is where I spawn? <gasps> the day is young. The day was young. So I got my basic wooden tools and made it to the stone age. Easy does it. All right, you can't really see ahead of you. Where the hell is the coal? Dude, I need to find naked coal. You know, I thought I only had a handful of things to worry about, but then I saw this thing and knew things were just about to get worse. I didn't know escaping parasites was in this. So I did end up finding some naked coal and got a major boost in my food supply. Oh, <gasps> hella berries, yes. Dude, that looks like a tree of life of some sort. What is that? Please be nice. Doesn't sound nice. The tree of life was actually a graveyard and in there I got some leather boots with feather falling and a couple other things, but nightfall was approaching. So I entered into a mountain and then got a message. Okay, dude. <laughs> what am I facing? In the meantime, I decided to make some stairs going down and eventually found a little cave opening where I got a decent amount of iron. Sick. Just had to add that to really get me in the mood, huh? The chest plate. In the morning, I decided to journey out a little more and found a village. Okay, I say we, we make camp here. However, something about this village was off. What? Wait, that wasn't there just a second ago, right? A blood moon has appeared. There is no going to sleep. I think I'll be safe in here, though. You know, for a blood moon, this, this isn't too bad. Oh my god, just shut up. Quit saying that, because then something bad is going what to is happen. That? What is that? Yeah, so after getting grimaced on, you know, I, I was kind of just chilling. May have been on my phone, perhaps, and then this happened. What? Ain't no way. I, what was that? Okay, you can't hit me with this and that constantly. So I had a day long journey to get back to my body to make sure none of my stuff despawned. And just as I was approaching, it just had to get extra dark. How does it get that dark fast? Stop, stop. Oh my God, pull out game, no, come back game strong. Not safe. Jesus, okay, so I guess we're making home here. I don't know if I want to make home here. Yeah, the plans would change as more and more creepy stuff just kept on happening. But before leaving, I went through some of the chests in the village, was able to get a full set of armor with the leather leggings I got. And of course, before leaving, I got some more hay bales and dipped. Whoa! I'm out, I'm out. This place is cursed. Flowers. Okay, that, that brightens the mood. Not at all. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, whoa, what have we found here? My brand new home. What the f- Please don't kill me. Okay, my heart tells me to run away, but I'm so curious. So oh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put our bed right here. That's right, respawn point set. And now we're gonna go into this balls deep. You shouldn't be here. Damn, there's some lore in this. So to the point, because this guy could barely get a couple words out without coughing. You know, he, he dropped all this lore about some infection and you know, I kept on listening and listening. And then the music started to get intense. And here's what happened. I became a member of the now abandoned council. <sighs> the same council serve this purpose too. Cough, cough. <sighs> you're suspicious of him. We here and we got worse in one day. You ordered one of those things in here. This better be copyright free music because it sounds so damn good. Oh my god.
Get me out, get me out, man. Y'all don't realize, I got new headphones. It sounds like he's inside me. <gasps> Dude, look at the hole. So I did investigate the building the next day and the creature was not found. And the only thing that remained were these books filled with lore, but moving on. I journeyed a bit more and then found this tower, which I was very scared to progress in after what had just happened, but ended up being a good result. Please don't bait me. Oh. Oh, whoa, a cultist. Oh, we get the cassette player. Enchantment team, bro. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make a little co house with this guy. No, no, don't tell me he's gone behind. <laughs> uh, oh. Hello. So I was full steam ahead in making my house. Hero Brian just kept on showing up every now and then, but thankfully in this mod pack, he's he's kind of a cock. He just stands and watches you do your own thing. So you know, it, every now and then he would he would get to me. Okay, bro thinks he's him. He's not anymore. Okay, bro is him. He got me there. Look at this. We have a wall. Guess who would be proud? Man, it seems like whenever you try and do peaceful things. Nothing happens. Shout out to you, Fogman, for letting me build my home. A minor moon? A minor... Okay, sorry. Ah, like uh, Kendrick. Like okay, that got really dark real quick. So if my hands weren't already full with all the other creatures I have to fear, at this point I realized that that number meant that there were parasites in this world. So, you know, they would start annoying me later on. During this night, I tried what? going to sleep, but something kept on stopping me. And I'm kind of glad, because it led to me getting some revenge. Okay. <gasps> oh, it's that motherfucker! Okay, he's a bit OP. Oh, I killed him. Ooh, okay, okay. Damn it! At this point, I'd put a lot of time into my house and at last had added the final touches. And you know what? It's a nice little basic home. Feeling watched. Who the hell is watching me? My ops? During the nighttime, I decided to make a staircase going down within my house and found a huge opening into a cave where it was just absolutely flooded with ops. <laughs> I don't want to be here. I have the high ground. That's, that's all that matters. And just as I was getting some iron ore, I spotted a creature that wasted no time to get to me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thankfully, I got my stuff back and continued on, and when I thought I found some diamonds, they ended up just being some termites. You know, they, they, they do drop you some shards for diamonds, but it, it wasn't enough to get one diamond. This cave was filled with more and more surprises. I got slimed on, and I would just hear creature noises and never look back because I didn't want to see what was following me, and just kept on going deeper into the mine shaft. I don't know what the hell is following me. I'm out, I'm out. Something good, okay, iron. I returned back to my home, and in the morning, I encountered a creature. I'm just gonna call it the meme horror creature because of all the sound effects that comes with it. <laughs> What just happened? pack continues to surprise me more and more of the f***ed stuff you run into. But now, it was time to lock in and get my Glock. So what did I have to do? I had to craft my weapon printer. And boy, were those prices expensive to get a gun. So I went straight to work, added some things to my furnace, and then, during the night, I had my first sighting of the fog man. Why are we making noises? I just see it.
My heart's beating. We need that Glock ASAP. Thankfully, I did not receive any harm except for this jump scare. <gasps> oh my god, dude, not. <laughs> he stopped scaring me and then the tension of whatever the f I just encountered. So at last, your boy got the Glock 18 with the Extendo mag on it. This thing looked absolutely sick. I stacked up on my 9mm ammo and this thing was set to take out the man from the fog. And then, of course, at night, I had to run into this piece of sh again. No, no. No, it's that guy again. I know who's here. <laughs> I hate this guy with a dying passion. What is this? Oh my god. Oh, it's just a villager. All right, can this dumbass come over here? In the morning, I tested out my gun, and man, I was coping so hard in the moment, but it is not promising at all. This does like no damage. I journeyed out not too far from my house and then found this weird altar, which I'm not sure what it's for. Try a different time. After your boy wanted to get a cassette player, so I journeyed out until I found a village where there was this arms dealer, which I thought was very cool. I then gave one of the villagers a farmer job and stacked up on emeralds by trading some wheat. And I decided it would probably be too scary to journey back home as I, I was kind of far. And at nighttime, I experienced so much crap. <laughs> oh my god. I swear to God. Are you fucking kidding me? This villager killed me so many times, but finally I got enough time to break the piece of dirt and get the hell out of there, get my stuff, and head back home the next day. I traded with the cultist and got the cassette player and started to play this creepy ass cassette. Welcome to the safe instructions. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Most of it was pretty inaudible at the moment, so I, I didn't understand half of it. I do remember hearing like the, the fog man is like three blocks high or something like that, but that's basically all I caught. And the whole run thing at the end. Run. Hey, I recognize that. Alright, where's this motherfucker at? Y'all think I'm playing? I got the automatic Glock. You know, how about we sleep it off? I did get the courage to go back out and use the Glock against... I, I don't know what this guy's name is. He's just the annoying guy. Man in the fog. I am the man in the fog. Because I don't see him out here. Is that him? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is that fat ass doing here? I'm pretty sure there was a TLC show for that guy somewhere in the archives. <laughs> what? Finally, yo mama so fat she digests her fetuses. Thinking back, that, that yo mama joke is actually, it's actually pretty decent. You know, maybe now, not today, because like yo mama jokes are really outdated. But anyways, moving on. I went out to find this man in the fog and couldn't really find him at all during the day. And then during the nighttime, this happened. Bro's avoiding me ever since I got a glow. Oh my god. That was him. That's right, the fog man was doing a little hard to get with me and didn't really show himself that night. Anyways, at this moment, I realized when I loaded back into my world, I changed into Steve. So now, now I'm Steve for the rest of this. Hey, look at that mag though. I see- Oh my god. No. No, 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 no. Oh shoot. Stop, 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 stop. Daytime came and I decided to go on a nice little adventure and luckily had some bones on me and ran into three dogs, which I all adopted and brought back home with me. Fogman my ass with these dogs by my side. Dude, that's just your ride. Where, where, where? Get the Glock out. No way. He went away. That's a W, right? All right, we stand on 10 toes tonight. Anyways, the next night, I journeyed out what? looking for the Fogman, and when I looked back, this guy was in my house. <gasps> oh, what a pussy. Oh, shit. Where is it? 
Where is it? Where is it? This guy f off already. <laughs> Thankfully, I was behind my wall and was able to escape danger. So I waited till the next night to face the fog man. And unfortunately, I only had one bullet left in my chamber. Bro, what the f- An E now? What is that supposed to mean? Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Let's fuck him up. Gone? No! <gasps> like and subscribe if you want more content like this and comment down below who I should hunt next. Also, shout out to these members.